People who live in Metro Detroit are no strangers to power outages. In fact, data shows that in Wayne County, residents were without power for 3.4 days annually. Now that's higher than the state's average of 1.8 days. Now with this in mind, state utility regulators are asking Michiganders, do they think power companies should be fined if they don't get their power back up quickly? Maybe not fined, uh, but they could what is it retroactively take away or you know off the bill for the days that the power's out the problems that we have people lose food people lose uh got to pay to go to hotels and everything so they should be fine if they don't get our power up every time that dte and consumer powers so they go to the state uh to the legislature or the state utilities commission for an increase overwhelmingly they tend to get their increases so uh as a fairness to the consumer the customer, I think that is a great idea that they do get fined. They expect us to pay our bills, so I expect that they should get fined. The fines could cost DTE Energy and Consumers Energy up to $10 million. Give them 20, then they'll get our power up and running. While the Michigan Public Service Commission proposed the idea of fining the companies, they are also thinking about rewarding them with financial incentives of up to $10 million if they get power restored quickly. Do you think they should be incentivized or rewarded if they do a good job? Not at all, because they're doing their job. We pay them to take care of us. So if there's some incentive for DT and consumer power to get better service, by all means, I would agree with that policy. If you do a good job, you should be rewarded for it. They're paid to be out there, so to pay them twice to do their job is, you know, I have a tough time. I wouldn't want to pay the guys that work for me a reward for doing your job. State utility regulators want to hear from you about this topic. To find out how to do so, visit our website, wxyz.com. Tierra Braddock, 7 News, Detroit.